Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to learn about string aggregate function in SQL Server. And my name is Adas Vikram Singh. I am the database expert over here. So let's understand what is string aggregate function and how to use it in an SQL Server. And there are some topics which we are going to cover out in this aggregate function. There are some topics which we are going to cover in string aggregate function and some related to it. So here are the topics which will be covered in string aggregate functions. So first we will define what is string aggregate function and less five topics are how to use string aggregate function with order by clause, how to use string aggregate function with within group keyword and how to use string a function with within group keyword and order by clause and how to use string a function and perform it on the multiple columns and there is one last topic which we use string agree function and ef function in the same table on the inside the query so let's define what is string IA function. So as a string IA function, it is used to concatenate rows of strings into one string by using the special separator. It doesn't add the separator at the end of the string for the result set. If you see in the, clearly in the syntax, uh, I'm using the select statement in order to get Result set by the string IA function. So in the inside the string IA function, there are two parameters which are we going to use. First is string name or the string name. Second is parameter or you can say the caller name. So if for the separator, they have like we can use different parts as column, semicolon, state, that sign, backslash. So these are the separator which can be used for the string array functions and at the end of the in order to concatenate rows of string into one string we have to use a group by clause if we don't use a group by clause if we show an error or otherwise we have to use any aggregate function for the inside the query so let's let me show you a sample example of how to use a gay function for the table name in the query as i have you seen that i have written one query over here in the sql management studio so over here i have used the expression uh, first one as a gender then i have used a string a gay function inside the string a gay function i have used a first string name or the caller name which is student first name and then I have used a separator as a semicolon inside the Harvard University table in order to concatenate uh, all the genders by the semicolon which is this I have to use the gender column so if you had put get the result by this query by execute it you will see that females are yes in the in the in the Athia, the gender float is a craze. In the male, these are the people which are there. In the norm web is Colettia. As you see that there has been no uh, a, a new caller name for the string array function. Then I'm going to use a, a as clause. I'm using the capital letter. And I will put name as a string array function. I'm going to re-execute this query and I will get the uh, over here, as you see clearly. I'm sorry, before I move to the next slide, I need to get you some, something very clearly. If I don't use a group by class over here, just like if I remove it from here and I re execute this one once more again, if you see that there is an error with this one, just going to do in a small way so, so that you can understand. As you can see that, uh, so that is invalid in the select statement because it contain either it does not contain either the uh, group by clause or because it didn't contain either the agree function or the group by clause. If you know about the agree function, which are mass, min, sum, count, these are the functions which are carried out inside the agree function. Okay, so we have to use either the group by clause after the Harvard University table. Otherwise, it will be not able to concatenate all the strings into one string by using the separator inside it. Okay. 
you have to be very clear about this part. So if I, I have to view, rewrite that step again, I will use put by clause, then I will use the expression name over here, and execute it. Here we go. I'm going to show you how to use sync array function with the order by clause. Let me explain what is order by clause. Uh, it is normally used to arrange the result in the ascending or descending order by using the ASC or the test keyword. So if we, we do not use the, any uh, as keyword or the desk keyword inside the query, it will automatically arrange the results set in the ascending order. It will always arrange it. You have to know that. If you know that part, it's very good. So let's see the sample example of how to use string aggregate function with order by clause. Let's move to the query part, SQL Server. So if you see here clearly, I have selected gender, which uh, I'm going to group by them by the gender for the student first name column for the. So here is a sample example of how to change it. As you see clearly, first I have used the string aggregate function on student first name column. Then I have used the separator. So here is a separator, which is semicolon. Then I have used uh, in order to get a new column name. I have. If you want, you can use the as keyword or do not want as well your wish. But I have do not use over here as keyword. But it will still execute it over there. Okay. And it has given the name as first name list from the MIT University disabled. So what is going to happen when I will execute this query? It will arrange all the all the names as per the gender column and in the group by using the semicolon so what is happening over here as you see in the polygender all the members who, whose names uh, came inside the polygender they are separated by the semicolon over there and in the end I have used the order by clause for the gender in order to arrange them in descending order so as you see it is P N M G G F P A over here. So it has arranged all the gender in the descending order by the alpha alphabetical order. The third slide it says how to use string aggregate function within group keyword. So here are the three things which are we are required. First one is the back on and back which is for the string name. Second is a separator, which we use normally the semicolon or the comma or the dash sign or the underscore sign so that you can easily get to know as a result set. Then I have used the order by class which means that uh, you see over here the order by which means that it will arrange the continuated results in the sorted order by the within group clause. So now let's see the query how to uh, use sync aggregate function to within group clause. So inside the bidding group clause, I have uh, we have to use the order by clause. Uh, arrange the concatenated results in the ascending or descending order as per the user's choice. I have just also removed the order by clause for me, which was not required over here. But as we, as we see clearly, we have to group them also. If we do not group them, it will show the error, the simplest error. Because if we are not able to concatenate the strings into one single string with the help of the separator inside it. First, I will execute this query over here. You see that all the members are grouped them by the genders report, and we have arranged the, all the males and members in, by using the semicolon separator. In the end, we have used the as clause over here as per the new column name. If you see clearly in this in this slide, we are going to use how aggregate function with within group keyword and order by order by clause at the same time. What it happens in the syntax as you see that in the string aggregate function, if you see clearly in string aggregate function, first I have to use the parameter which is string name, and then I have to use a separator. But inside the within group 
the keyword i am arranging the string name in, in the ascending or descending order and after that when when i group them i am also arranging the column name of the uh, the table which are arranging the, these all the concatenated words in the uh, uh, arranging or descending order so if you see clearly in this query what is happening over here is that it is also arranging the gender column in descending order by using the order brackets but inside the bidding group it is also arranging the all the names in descending order you see over here the non binary has only the one name which is arranged in descending but if we suppose if the non binary row has like four to five names so it will give the z x y names first and then after that c will come okay but if you see in the uh, c in the second record which is male part over here it is like robert mike johnny these are all arranged by the bidding group keyword which, which has used with order by clause so it has arranging the string aggregates parameter which is student first name in uh, as a in descending order okay that is the main purpose of how to use the sync aggregate function with bidding group keyword and the order by clause at the same time we have been need to understand and we need to perform also that how to use sync aggregate function on multiple forms as per the SQL Server guidelines, there is there is no method that I can use the two parameters of the name and then the separator comma. If we get error, okay. If you want to use on the multiple column, I have to use it. again and again the sync uh, aggregate syntax on the table name which I'm and after that I have to use a group by column or any aggregate function after that your table name, okay. For that, I'm going to show you the this query how to use. So now, so now let's move to the query part once again. And as see over here, I have used a state slash over here and the separator and the semicolon separator for the two multiple columns with string aggregate function. So over here, I'm using uh, concatenating the multiple strings into a single string. Of the student first name column with the semicolon separator, and for the student last name column, I'm using the straight slash in order to con concatenate multiple things into single things, and then I have arranged them by the group by clause over there. So if I execute this query, it goes like this. It will not give the group by clause by the two different uh, in the result set. Okay. So over here it is like the gender has been given one time and after that it has arranged all the uh, by the name in the by name. If I have used over there bidding group by clause then it becomes like this that the feature will be arranged in the ascending or descending order and these Muffray, Google, Santana, Stores, Annabelle, all these things will be arranged also if I use the bidding group keyword over here. In the last slide, I'm going to make you understand that how to use string aggregate function with the ear function. Okay. You have to use ear function inside it. The last slide I'm going to show you how to use sync aggregate function with ear function. Before I move to the synth uh, syntax example for the both is function, I'm going to show you what is sample is syntax of ear function and, what, and how it is defined. Ear function is normally used to extract the ear portion value from the expression or the column name by the query. So let me show you one sample example of ear function. Then I'll show you the both function example again. Okay, so I'm going to write one query of how to use sync here 
how to extract year portion value from the MIT university. So I'm going to write select year and I will write the table name which is a student admit from MIT Harvard and we will use another table for that. I will use Harvard University. If I execute this query, it will give me the year portion value. Is. So there are 14 records with the values of year and it showed the year value the now now the last two digit value we give you the four digit value of the year okay so now i'm going to show you how to use the year portion year function sing agree function at the same time of the query now i'm going to show you how to use sing agree function and the year portion value at the same time of the query so uh, over here uh, uh, i have written two query to make you understandable First is for the admit date, and second is for the end date, which means the student last day in the, that university. Okay. Don't get confused by the student end date column name and the student admit date column name. So, in the first query, if you see clearly, when I execute it, so it, for the year, it has no year name value for the this student and the for the all the students which have joined in, in, uh, in 2021 these are all grouped then and has been concatenated into one single string by using the semicolon separator if i expand this these are the list we show over here so let me put as a string name for the for year value for this one and over here, I am going to use again the year value as a new column. So I re extract it once again and it gives it as a Q. So it gives a year value. So now I will execute the next query. And so it showed that uh, for the end date also, this student also didn't have any year when he when she joined it. And that's all the people are, the end date has been given. It for the hardware university people inside it. These are the people which are going to complete their college life in 2022, 2023, 24, 25, 26, 27. These are the people which are going to complete their college life. So if I let me show you how many people are there inside it. So there are four records, my apology, there are four string names which are comes inside 222. There's one the swimming name which comes in 2023. There are three in 24, there are two in 25, and 26 is one, there's 27, there are two questions. People. I hope you understood how to use string aggregate function and there's other methods and uh, the topic which I contain inside it. I hope you have made the concept clear. So if you want to know more about it, give in the link below and these there are other few video tutorials which you want to know more about like Python, machine learning, blockchain. With this, we have completed tutorial on how to use sync aggregate function in the SQL server. If this video was helpful, click on the like button, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Take care.